everybody, it's Stacy. I'm going to show you how to make this um, card. I went ahead and started stamping it and I said, well, let me finish it on um, camera. So this is from Paper Tray Inks uh, Red, White, and Blue stamp set and it comes with um, fireworks and stars and rockets and then four different, actually five different sentiments. So we are going to go ahead and th this is really easy. I just wanted to make another 4th of July card because I have to send them out. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you my tricks that I did. First of all, I need a piece of paper to go underneath my card. So on this one, we are going to use Real Red and Pacific Point. You can choose any colors you want. Fireworks come in all different colors. It's totally up to you. I'm going with the classics. So all you do is stamp the fireworks along the page. And then you're going to have to clean it in between because I only have one of those stamps. So let's get out. Oops. Cleaner. And I need a new cleaner. I know this is a mess. I'm surprised my, my stamps even get clean. Okay. Done with the red. Then we go on to the blue. Oh, move that up a little. Was my favorite color. So we'll do that right there, that one right there, and then a little bit in the corner. Now, to give it a little bit more um, depth and dimension, I went over it with Versamark Dazzle in Champagne, and this just, I don't really know if you can see it on here, it just gives it a little bit of dimension. Can you see that? It's like a watermark, but it's got glitter in it. And I don't really know if it's showing up that well for you, but it's so pretty. So we have to clean it off one more time. Then take your Versamark, and this doesn't have to be perfect because you're just laying it over the top, but what you want to do is you want to mimic and be slightly askew on top of the stamp you've already done. Is there a hair on that? I don't know. I thought that was a hair. So then come over here, and you don't want it to be exactly on top. Like that. Because the fireworks are fading into the sky. That. And then like that. Okay. So we'll clean that off later. And in my earlier tutorial, tutorial about this stamp set, I used this and I put... Um, this was blue and then I had a circle that fit inside the circle. But what I did is I, t I punched the sentiment one, the 4th of July, perfectly so it'll fit inside there. So um, you're not gonna see Land of the Brave and Home of the Free. Or sorry, Home of the Brave and Land of the Free. What? It's late. Okay, let's go ahead and put glue on here. Woo! I just put, oh, new glue on here. Sometimes it does this. Look at that. Ew. There we go. I just changed it so it's... See, it's brand new. Won't last me long the way I like to use it. Alright, so this does not have to be perfect. It just needs to cover up the, the sentiment other, underneath. Okay, so this is really simple card. Fold your base in half. We can get rid of this piece now. 
if the glue will let it go. Oh, look at how good it works. Isn't that great? We'll move that aside. We'll bring this one in. Almost did it again. Okay. Sheesh. This should be on, on my blooper reel. This is gonna be really plain, but the fireworks speak for themselves. Get all four sides. And then go ahead and make sure your fireworks are going the right way on the paper. There's nothing worse than upside down fireworks. Look at how pretty that is, just like that. <laughs> Pretty. Okay. We'll do four dimensionals. Peel off the backing. And then take that. Let's put it right here. And there you go. A nice, simple 4th of July card. And you can make a lot of these very quickly. So if you're sending these out to friends and family, ta-da! You could also make this an invite to a barbecue or something for the 4th of July if you want to. You could make it, um, you don't have to make it a card that opens up. You can make it a flat card and then write, you know, to, you know, the date, the time, and, and what the event is over here on top of it. Or you can write it in there. Make it your own and enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.